At Doran Park, I'm Amanda Irvin as the Firebirds look to make it seven straight versus the Bourne Braves. They'll face the Braves in a doubleheader starting at 3 p.m. The Braves themselves trying to stay hot and get win number five in a row. Stay tuned for the Bird Buzz. With the Bird Buzz, I'm Amanda Irvin joined with broadcaster Ryan Bafalukas. Ryan, these Bourne Braves lost their first six games, then had a tie, then won their last four. What was the turnaround? What's going right? Well. I think eventually the law of averages just kind of righted itself with the Bourne Braves. Obviously, no team is going to go 0 43 and 1. So they started off playing a little shaky. Uh, you know, new team, new guys, but they've really found their stride the last four games. They're starting to hit the ball better. They scored a lot of runs against Chad and put up a, a really good performance against the, uh, the Chatham Anglers. So we'll see what they can do today. Kyle said it all on the mound for the Birds. What should we see from him today? He, you know, he's going to have to locate his pitches really well. He's not going to overpower these born Braves hitters. He's going to be in the high 80s, good movement on the slider. But for him, it's about location and about working out of jams. He's probably going to give up some hits, but how is he going to work out of those jams is what I'll be looking for. This question's been asked before. This 9-2 and two team, very talented, won their last six games. What do they need to be working on still? I think defensively, they are not as familiar with each other as they are with their college teammates. So you're seeing some, you know, mental mistakes from them, and that'll write itself. And it's tough because you just lost three players to Team USA. You've got a brand new middle infield today, Trey York and Justin Jones. So there's a lot of moving pieces the first couple of weeks, but. I think as the season goes on, they get more comfortable. The defensive miscues that we've seen the first couple, you know, few handful of games, and they haven't been paramount. It hasn't been a lot of defensive miscues, but I think the defense is a little bit behind the offense and the pitching thus far. Two very different lineups today for game one and two. Is there anyone in particular you're looking forward to seeing today? I'm looking forward to seeing Justin Jones. He's uh, He'll be at shortstop in, uh, in game one. He's a freshman All-American from Georgia Southern. We haven't seen him at all. He's been here three or four days, hasn't played, which is kind of a rarity for Kelly to get a new player and not play him at all. We've seen Trace Pereira get at bats his first two games. Trey York's gotten at bat his first two games, but no Justin Jones yet. He's the first Firebird. He's the, he's the only new Firebird that we haven't seen at all play today, so I'm looking forward to seeing him play. All right, thanks for the analysis. For Ryan Bafalukas, I'm Amanda Irvin here with the Bird Buzz.